Happy Halloween, the internet. Sorry, I got a stuffy nose. So this is why I'm talking funny. Today, we're going to review Toy Story of Terror. First premiered in 2013, this was Pixar's first attempt at a TV special featuring most of the cast of the Toy Story movies. In this special, Bonnie and her mother end up staying the night in a motel. Suddenly, many of Bonnie's toys end up being taken one by one. Who is this kidnapper? And why? And what does he want from our favorite toys? For a TV special based on a kid's animated film franchise, this could have easily been just a cheap cash grab. But instead, we got this well-written, funny, and sometimes creepy Halloween special that helps expand on the Toy Story franchise. The special really captures that spooky feeling you see in spooky movies. Sure, it doesn't go for huge scares like Curse the Cowley Dog, but there's still a sense of atmosphere and mystery to it. The mystery to what's really vanishing our main, char main toys. Who could this creature be? And why is it doing this? And once the culprit is revealed, it's a very clever twist that I won't spoil. But what this special is mainly about is on Jessie and her fear of small spaces. The special expands on Jessie's fears, which is quite a clever callback, but also rather tragic since she was abandoned by her owner in a box. So seeing her get over her fear to save her friends is really rather empowering. The special thankfully still has this, that same humor as the movies, and thankfully, the humor in this is very good, especially from Prickle Pants' usage of horror, of referencing horror movie cliches, which gives the special a very tongue cheek feel. A lot of the cast from the movies return to reprise their roles, and they do an excellent job as usual, but the new characters that steal the show, especially the G.I. Joe parody Combat Carl. Carl's just a blast because how overly serious he is, but still plays an important role in the special. The animation for this special is rather is really good. Almost like almost looks like a scene from the movies, and there are so many shots that capture that spooky feeling. If I did have to complain about this special if I did have anything to complain about this special, it would be more of a nitpick, but it's a shame they didn't bring back Ham for this special. I know that sounds nitpicking, but it really is a missed opportunity to not have Ham in this special, as he was my, my favorite Toy Story character for his dry sense of humor. In conclusion, Toy Story of Terror is a fun Halloween special that manages to be spooky, funny, and even heartwarming. I highly recommend it. And, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and Happy Halloween!